Getting on our first flight, heading to Paris. Right now it's 10.30 in the morning. We're going to Dallas and we'll be in Dallas at 1.20. So, see you guys in Dallas. We are now in Dallas. That flight was only an hour and like 25 minutes, so it wasn't that bad. Now, we're eating at Buffalo Wild Wings, but we still have two more hours for our layover until we go to New York. So until then, we will be drinking some beer, maybe take a shot. Hi right, guys, it's actually my beer, it's not Lexi's. On to the second flight, it's now 5.15. We're heading to New York. I believe this flight is like three and a half hours. So let's get it. I'm forcing myself to stay awake. That way on our flight from New York to Paris, I can sleep the whole way. I'll see you guys in New York. Okay, excuse the little black lines running across. I have to change the settings, but on our third flight of the day, it's currently 11.45. We're on our third flight and now we're heading to Paris. update you guys but it's still our first day here danny got me some roses we're still running we're up and running and last night i didn't really sleep and i kind of slept a little bit on the plane maybe like four and a half hours so i'm surprised i'm still up and running right now because girl i'll be tired but every time i drink i'm like starting to get slumped but then i'm like fighting the urge because i don't want to sleep and guys can you believe it's nine 9.32 and it's still sun outside. Like, look at this. That is crazy. 11.40 guys. The light, like the sun barely went out, went down. But we're on our way to dinner. The boys did a quick little change because they were like in shorts and there's no shorts allowed. So let's see if they let us in. The girls are in sandals. I don't know how fancy like this restaurant is. And I'm like tripping out that my makeup. My makeup is still on. Oh my God, let me tell you guys that this morning, it was so funny because I was like, I'm jet lagged. Like she was going through it. And I was like, how crazy? Like I'm not jet lagged at all. And we get to the Airbnb and we start trying to get ready. And then I'm like, I left my makeup at my house. But then I was thinking like, how the fuck could I leave my makeup? Like me. Me, I like think of every case scenario. I'm so organized, I'm so prepared. Like, it just wasn't making sense, you know what I mean? Anyways, so I'm like starting to get in a bad mood because I had to borrow makeup from Ash and Christina because I forgot my makeup. <laughs> and then I'm looking for, I forgot what I was looking for in my backpack because I have one of those backpacks that opens like a suitcase. So I'm looking for something in that backpack and I pull like the strap all the way open. And I, ha and <laughs> it was so funny because literally right before this, I was like, Ash, I don't feel jet lag. And she's like, it just kind of feels like you're tipsy. Like, you're there, but you're not there. <laughs> like, literally, like, five minutes after she says that, I go to the room to try to look for whatever. Whatever I was looking for, I don't remember. <laughs> and I see my makeup bag, and I'm like, girl, I'm Delulu right now. I am jet lagged. But still no sleep. We still going. Let's see how dinner is. It's an Asian cuisine. Hello guys, day two, but let me give you guys the tea about what's happening. So 
We're gonna go to Italy tomorrow and spend like three days there. So we try to buy tickets and Bao was going to buy us four tickets, me, Ash, him, Danny. Wait, Bao, Ash, me, and Danny. And it didn't let him purchase four tickets. So then he was like, let me try to see if I can purchase two. So then he was able to purchase two. So he purchased him and Ash. So Danny was like, okay, I'll get me and legs. And then he tried to purchase it like literally right after Bao purchased his tickets and it didn't let him. So then he was like, um, let me see if I can do one. So then Danny was able to get one and he got his ticket. So he's like, oh, I'll just like do mine by myself and Lexi's by herself. So then when they, <sighs> when they tried to do my ticket by myself, it didn't let them. It showed that there was no tickets available. So we all tried to do it. My phone was dead because I have no signal out here. And the Wi-Fi, like we haven't been in a place that has really good Wi-Fi. So Danny tried to do it on his phone multiple times. Bao tried to do it on his phone for my ticket. Didn't work. So we're like, oh, okay, we'll just wait till later on. But we ended up staying out till like 3 a.m. And I'm surprised we lasted that long because, dude, we hadn't really slept. We were feeling a little jet lag, a little buzz, but we stayed up late. We went to this restaurant that stays open till like 5 a.m. But yeah, anyways, so <laughs> we go home and I had booked us a, a boat tour at 12.30 today. Tell me why I woke up and <laughs> mine in Danny's room is like a dungeon. It has no windows, pitch black. I'm like checking my phone. I'm like, babe, it says it's 12.30. <laughs> and he's like, and our flight, our boat was at 12.30. He's like, yeah, I'm like, it's 12.30. Like, it just didn't feel like it was 12.30 because it was so dark. But anyways, they started to look for my ticket, tried to look for my ticket again, tried to purchase, didn't let them. But Bao got charged for the ticket, but I have no... Girl, why am I going? I have no confirmation for it or nothing, so... Me and Danny. <laughs> Me and Danny are heading to the airport to see if we can purchase a ticket there because we, we tried to call customer service. We couldn't speak to customer service. So we're about to head to the airport to see what's the deal with that. Yeah, they were like, maybe we should just go to the airport tomorrow like when our flight was and just like see. And I'm like, no, I will have so much anxiety like not knowing if I actually will have like a spot on the plane. Danny checked to like change his seats and it showed that there were still a lot of seats available, so we're just really confused as to why it doesn't let us. Dude. <laughs> what the heck? I need a coffee. I need a coffee, I need a croissant. But yeah, that's our update for the day, guys. I'm also trying to purchase an e-SIM card so that I can have data over here because I don't have any service. Yeah, that's the tea right now. Oh. <laughs> tea? It's a nice crispy donut. Oh my god. Maybe it's just a liar. taking it cuz why is it always me that's late? <laughs> why is everybody always waiting on me? Cheers. 
Just finished eating at Pink Mama. Now we're trying to look for a little bar. Look how cute it is here. because my camera battery pack burnt out and I only have, obviously I only have one battery pack to charge the batteries. I guess it was like too much power because it's a triple battery pack charger so I guess it was just like too much and it burnt out. So now we're vlogging on my camera camera because I have two cameras. I have one that I use for my pictures which is the Canon and then my Sony which is for my vlogs. Now we're vlogging on my camera. Now we're in a Sardinia. It's a boat day so let's get ready. I love it. Me and Danny have like our own little apartamento. This is the kitchen, which we will not be using. <laughs> Our little area. And then over here. Look at this view. Amazing. And then there's two rooms downstairs. Ash's room is right there. And then my and Danny's room is right here. And everyone, everyone has their own bathroom because in Paris we did it in the fucking restroom situation. The restroom situation was crazy. So this is my setup where I'm getting ready. But yeah. Let's get ready because actually everyone's ready, me and Ash and the girls over here and we're all not ready so I gotta get ready fast guys. I'm gonna do my hair while I let my skincare sit in and then I'll be right back once I'm done. The only thing about my Canon when I'm vlogging is it hella unfocuses so I literally gotta stay right here. But I filmed my TikTok and I was saying I'm... My hair is still kind of curly, like kind of. So I'm like, should I leave my hair like this or do it in a cute bun? I like my, I like how I look with ponytails, but then I also like how I like how I look with buns. And I'm gonna try not to set because my under eyes always look so fucking crazy, dude. I'm at the point where I think I'm gonna get under eye filler because they crease so bad and they look disgusting. Like, I have to set so much, but then I set so much that they look gross. And I'm just fucking tired. Like, I don't know what to do. I'm so scared of getting filler. Like, I don't want filler in my face. What do I do? <laughs> Like, have you guys experienced this? If so, what what do you do, girl? Because I'm so fucking tired of this shit. I think my new favorite product, I used to always be concealer, which it still is concealer. But I think my top three makeup product would be this Mario Skin Sculpt. It just makes you look so good. Cream blush and concealer. I'm also using the Natasha Donona Con... Is that, not, is that how you say it? <laughs> Natasha Denona concealer and I really really like it. We are out and about now. This is my outfit. I have like a little gold bikini on. Off to get some coffee and croissant before we rage on a boat. Before we rage on a Tuesday. It's gonna start to rain. Dude, it's so cold. 
I got really drunk. I don't know how I'd be getting really drunk. Well, technically, I didn't really like do nothing. Like I literally just added bronzer and concealer. But like, girl, my eyes, I feel like I'm like, I'm lit. But we're going to dinner. This is my outfit. We're at this little like, plazita. Plazita in Italia. Oh. I wish you guys could have seen our food. <laughs> the crumb. But it was so good. Almost her birthday. The next day. Good morning, guys. Today's Ash's birthday. Girl, I'm so hungover. Look at my eyes. Me, Kevin, and Christina came to look for her, look for a little cake or like something that we can wake her up with because it's literally 9.15 in the morning. We want to make sure we go before she wakes up. So we're going to see. I'm like, if not, we can get her coffee. She do be loving her coffee. I need to wash my hair too. Happy birthday, Ash. The cake says congratulations, but that's all there was. <laughs> and we got her roses. Okay. Let's go wake her up. Hello. Is it someone's birthday? Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! Finally out and about. It's 3 p.m. Got our little dresses on. He's a little hungover. What's her fire actually? You can tell she does this often. Yeah. You're very good at what you do. It's 5.50 in the morning. We went to sleep at 3 a.m. and it's 5.50 in the morning. We are now headed back to Paris. I am so tired. Just a tip, a plane dehydrates you. So either take a face mask on a plane or lather your skincare because it being on a plane hella dehydrates you and also drink a lot of water. That's why my face is all oiled up. And I have my giant, <laughs> and I have my giant ass water that I'm gonna take on my way to the airport with me. Stay hydrated. I'm waiting for Danny to get out of the shower. Tell me why yesterday we had bought in the cake for Ash, but we didn't cut it because we, when we left in the afternoon, we were hungry. So we just wanted to eat and we didn't want to eat cake. We're like, oh, we'll come back and eat the cake later. So we came back, it was like 11. We hadn't cut the cake or saying to Ash. So we're like, let's cut the cake. First of all, Ashley was like, don't even sing to me. I'm over it because the last three days we've been singing happy birthday to her. We cut the cake, sang happy birthday to her. And I put like the bottles that we had here at the Airbnb as like decoration on the table, just so that the table like wouldn't look empty, you know? Well, we took a shot actually to um, cheers to Ashley's birthday. So we were like, yeah, let's just take one shot. That will sleep really good. We take a shot and Kevin's like, wouldn't it be funny if like one of us is just like, let's just like finish the bottle. And then we're like, ha. And then we end up at the pizzeria. We're like in a small little island town. So there's like a handful of restaurants here. And every day that we've been here for the past three days, we've ended up at this like little pizzeria place. Cause they're so cool there. Like they sold us a bottle of tequila because it's better to order a bottle than just individual shots because obviously the shots add up and the bottle might be 400. But when there's a lot of people, like it's better, you know? I got tired of like holding the camera. So we were like, ha. Imagine like one of us says like let's just finish the bottle and then we end up at the pizzeria Tell me why an hour later We literally ended up finishing the bottle and being at the pizzeria and Because we've been there for the past three days and we order bottles of tequila and when we were walking up 
it was um, Danny and me were last because they know Danny is the tequila guy because he'll always like he was the one getting the bottles of tequila and one of the guys walked up and they're like we're closed and then like the, our other friends walked up and they're like tequila <laughs> like they know us as the tequila people literally and then they're like come in come in but it was funny because they were literally like about to close and then they see us and they're like tequila come so then we go we order the pizza that we've been ordering uh which is margarita and then two of pepperoni and onion and then we ended up ordering another bottle and finishing it there <laughs> so we went to sleep at three in the morning yesterday now it's 6 a.m we're heading back to Paris, and yeah i'll catch you guys once i'm in paris because I'm not gonna vlog no more at the airport. We have like one stop. We have a layover in Mulan right now, but girl, any chance I get until we're back in Paris, I'm gonna knock the fuck out. So, catch you guys in Paris. Okay, we are back in Paris. Now we're gonna go find something to eat, do a little shopping. Because I ran out of clothes and guys, I forgot underwear. So, okay, go buy some underwear. Caesar salad always. Ash got some steak. Guys, we are ready. It's now 10 p.m. The sun goes down at 10. Isn't it crazy? But this is my little fit. First day I wear heels. I was gonna wear these booties, but dude, my feet were like touching the floor, like they were coming all the way like forward. So I had to just prepare myself to wear the heels. I had to just wear the heels today because those other little booties, girl, like my toenails were like touching the ground, and that shit was not cute. The shirt is wrinkled, but their iron was broken, so yep. I had no choice. So don't judge. Cute. The I don't dresses. like your background. Oh, yours was like that too. It looks so scary. Right? Dresses, Marshalls. Shoes are Ross, I think. Falling on a budget. On a boat. We're gonna do like a little, a little like three course meal. It's twinkling! <laughs> Good morning guys. We are up and ready and we're gonna go meet Ash and Bao. We decided to sleep in because we went to sleep really late. But now we're ready. Oh dude, let me show you our hotel room. It is so small. <laughs> when we walked in we were like up. Ah! But Asha says that like a lot of hotels are like this, especially like when she went to Japan. But I just wasn't used to it. <laughs> so this is literally the front door. We got a little Bathroom section, shower, toilet. And that's it. Looking for a place to eat because over here, a lot of the restaurants close from like, I think like 5 to 9 or they have like a weird like hour where they're like closed. So we just went to two restaurants and they were closed. So now we're walking. This is all like super close to our um, hotel. What's happening? Update us. Guess what, guys? Guess what? My app just launched today. Yay! So we started celebrating. We took a couple shots. Took a couple shots. Two, two shots. I'm so happy. Ah! Finally announced to you guys. I've launched in Paris. I've launched in Paris. If you guys did not know, now you know. Good morning. It's literally 2 p.m. We just woke up, but it's 
the day after my launch of Sweat with Lexi. So yesterday we celebrated and I think this is the first day on our whole trip that I'm actually a little hungover, but we all needed to sleep. We just texted in the group chat like Danny's still sleeping. I think Ash is still sleeping. But today we're gonna go get my celebratory present. So I need to get up, I need to get ready because I look a mess. I put the room lights to be blue because you can like change the color. Look. I really like the blue. It is a mess in here. <laughs> I just did extent an extensive skincare prep. I been double cleansing if you are not double cleansing you need to start like yesterday because your face once you start double cleansing like you just you just need to do it like it feels so much cleaner than when I would just use one cleanser so I go in with like a cleansing balm first for this trip I've been using the inky list one this is the oat cleansing balm i'm not joking as soon as you put it on you put it on a dry face and as soon as you put it on you can feel like your makeup like coming apart and then after you use the balm you go in with the actual cleanser i've been using for the trip drunk elephant jelly cleanser so i did these two and then i i already put the other ones away but i'll mention them um i use a zo skin health exfoliator and those are like like the scrub exfoliators which are my favorite they kind of feel like rough on the face but i love it i feel like it really like cleans the face and then after that i went in with toning pads wiped my face and now we're here i was gonna put on eye patches because i brought some but i feel like i slept enough i slept like eight hours and dude for the trip that's been like the most we slept we usually been sleeping four hours so right now i'm like I'm awake what's the move for today but yeah now I'm going to jump in the shower I brought my little travel razor isn't this so freaking cute it's pink and it's travel size um but yeah I'm gonna jump in the shower wash my body and then we're gonna start getting ready for the day because girl it's already 2 15 in the afternoon <laughs> okay I never showed you guys I was in a rush but we got this stuff now we're at this like Greek restaurant. This is tuna, lots of potato, a few drinks, lamb chops, and chicken. I forgot to vlog when it was sprinkling or twer twinkling, but we got here early because we wanted videos and pictures when it was sparkling. And Danny got me. I'm gonna insert some clips of some of the pictures or like the videos that they came out. So cute. Shout out my ba my videographer. Let's see where the night takes us. Last night in Paris. Currently three in the morning. We leave tomorrow um, early, but we also gotta check out. So now I gotta clean all this. I just realized that. I never showed you guys what I got. So I ended up getting these earrings and a little bracelet. And then I also got this little bag, so cute. I realized that I wasn't um, vlogging as much as I would have liked to this trip just because I was just, you know, vibing with everybody. But yeah, I'm not sure how the footage is gonna be. I need to look at it. I'm so tired. I need a good night's rest. Gotta pack, so see you in the morning. Bags are packed. So I brought everything for the trip, which is a 10 day trip in a small carry on and a backpack, which I have never done before. So did Danny. And Danny's is like a small one. Like mine expands. His doesn't. And his is like shorter than mine. And then we have our backpack. The room is all clean now. I got my clothes for tomorrow. Our little toiletry bag. So if you guys did not know. If you, if you travel to Europe. 
You have to make sure that all your toiletries fit in this plastic bag or you will have to get rid of them. That was something that I did not know and I was in a rude awakening for because I just thought as long as you have everything under 3.4 .4 fluid ounces that you could take them and I had like a toiletry bag that's four tiers. So I had to throw away a lot of shit because obviously a lot of it didn't fit in here. So yeah, just so you guys know, if you guys are traveling through Europe, I heard that London is also super strict about this. London and Paris. So I was so sad. I had to throw away some of my skincare, some of my other toiletries that were super new. I got the toiletries in this bag. I'm just waiting for tomorrow morning after we shower so that I can put in our body wash and our shampoo. We got the trash and everything is all ready. Everything is all ready for tomorrow. Goodbye, Paris. I will miss you. Paris was so fun. Our first international long trip. Yesterday, Danny recorded a story. It was 3 a.m. And there was hella traffic at 3 a.m. We're like, what? Like, 3 a.m. El Paso. Girl, it's ghost time. <laughs> it's so packed every day, all day. Especially right now, this is like popular season to come to Paris, so everybody be out here. But look at the views, look at the buildings one last time. Landed in Dallas. Ah, finally back in the States after the 10 hour flight. Honestly, it wasn't that bad. Like, I got up a few times to go to the restroom and stretch. They fed us two times and then one snack. I bought Wi Fi on the $35 for the whole flight. But I literally watched like three movies. I watched like a couple shows. And then I was just on my phone, on TikTok, on Instagram. So it wasn't that bad, honestly. Now we're landed in Dallas. We're gonna go through customs. And then we have a two hour layover here in Dallas before we head back to El Paso. But honestly, I'm just so surprised the, the, the ride wasn't as bad as I expected. Like, the meals are pretty good too. The customs line is huge though. It's like, oh, it's not that bad. And they're like, no, you gotta keep going back of the line i walked like three turns i'm like yeah <laughs> look at my bags i am so tired no one invited me to do anything i'm gonna be sleeping the next two days but i forgot to give you guys an update so we landed in el paso we did the customs the custom for the line being so long but was, this is like the most organized custom i've seen it went by so fast <sighs> But our flight got, de got delayed till 10.45. We were supposed to get home at 9.30. So it got delayed till 10.45. So we went to the gate. Well, we got some water burger. We just kind of chilled at our gate. And then we got a notification that our gate got moved. So now we're at the new gate. We had to go to a different terminal. Take the skyline to get a different terminal. Now we're here. Now 17 minutes till boarding. I'm so, so tired. I can't wait to shower. I can't wait to lay in the bed. I can't wait to get hugs and kisses from the pups. But yeah, I'm exhausted right now. See you guys in El Paso. It was just 15 minutes, but it got delayed again. Yahweh, I just wanna go home. I wanna go home. I wanna go home, 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 home. Good morning, guys. I did not vlog last night when we got home because I was so freaking tired. Showered, 
washed my face, washed my hair, and I knocked out. I slept good. But now I'm heading to the gym. I'm so excited to get back into the gym. This is one of the longest time it's been since I haven't worked out. It's been like 11 or 12 days since I worked out. And the time before that, it's like equivalent to the same amount of time, was when I got my boobs done, and that was like five years ago. So I'm so excited to gym, and it's my friend's birthday today, so we're gonna have a little birthday pump. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here so that I can start editing this video for you. And I hope you guys enjoyed our little Paris vlog, and I'll see you on next week's vlog. Bye, guys!